Hello everyone, welcome again to my channel. This time we're going to take up factoring quadratic trinomials. Now what are quadratic trinomials? Quadratic trinomials is written in the form ax squared plus bx plus c where a, b, c are real numbers and a cannot be equal to zero. Here are examples of quadratic trinomials. Number 1, x squared plus 6x plus 8. What are the values of a, b, c on this expression? a is equal to 1. So that is the numerical coefficient of x squared. b is equal to 6. That is the numerical coefficient of x. And c is equal to 8. That is the constant term in the given expression. Number 2, y squared minus 8y plus 12. What are the values of a, b, and c? So a is equal to 1, b equals negative 8, c is equal to 12. Number 3, m squared minus 2m minus 24. The values of a, b, c are 1, negative 2, negative 24. If you observe, all the values of a here are all equal to 1. Now, the question is how do you factor quadratic trinomials? To factor quadratic trinomials of the form ax squared plus bx plus c means to express the trinomial as a product of two binomials. Here are the steps in factoring quadratic trinomial where the value of a is equal to 1. Number 1, factor the first term. Number 2, factor the last term such that the sum of the factors is equal to the numerical coefficient of the middle term. And number three, write as a product of two binomials. Let us have an example. Factor x squared plus 5x plus 6. Again, factor the first term as our first step. The first term is x squared and the factors are x and x because x times x equals x squared. Step 2, factor the last term such that the sum of the factors is equal to the numerical coefficient of the middle term. So our last term is 6. What are factors of 6? Such that when you find the sum of the factors, that is equal to the numerical coefficient of the middle term. So let us have 6. 6 is equal to 1 times 6. So the factors are 1 and 6. Another one, two, and three. Now, if we find the sum of these factors, one plus six is equal to seven. Is seven equals to five? No. Two plus three is equal to five. Is five equals five? Yes. So we're going to use two and three as factors of six. Step three, write as a product of two binomials x squared plus 5x plus 6 is equal to, what do you think will be these two binomials, such that when you find its product, the result is the given quadratic trinomial. So let us have the first term. The factors of the first term are x and x, and we are going to place that as the first term of the binomial. Next, 6 is equal to 2 times 3. Again, we're going to use 2 and 3 as the factors of 6 because if you add them, it is equal to the middle term. Now, you are going to write that as the second or last term of the binomial. Therefore, x squared plus 5x plus 6 is equal to the quantity x plus 2 times the quantity x plus 3. Or the quantity x plus 3 Type the quantity x plus 2. Then how are we going to check whether your factors are correct? So check the factors using FOIL method. So again, you are going to find the product of the first terms, the outer terms, the inner terms, and the last terms. So let us check x times x, x squared. x times 3, 3x. 2 times x, 2x, and 2 times 3, that's equal to 6. Let us combine. That is equal to x squared plus 5x plus 6. Okay, that is equal to the given quadratic trinomial. So therefore, your factors are correct. Another example, factor y squared minus 7y plus 10. 
first step, factor the first term. So the first term is y squared. The factors are y and y. Next, factor the last term such that the sum of the factors is equal to the numerical coefficient of the middle term. Our last term is 10. Let us find its factors. 10 is equal to 1 times 10. So we have 1 and 10 as factors. And we have also 2 and 5 as factors. Now let us find the sum of the factors. 1 plus 10 is equal to 11. Is 11 equals to negative 7? No. Next. 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. Is 7 equals to negative 7? No. So let us also find other factors of 10. We have also negative 1 and negative 10 as factors. Because multiplying two negative numbers, the result is a positive number. Another, negative 2 and negative 5. Because negative 2 times negative 5, that is equivalent to positive 10. So let us now find the sum of the factors. Negative 1 plus negative 10 is equal to negative 11. Negative 2 plus negative 5 is equal to negative 7. Is negative 11 equals to negative 7? No. Is negative 7 equals to negative 7? Yes, so therefore we're going to use negative 2 and negative 5 as factors of 10. Step 3, write as a product of two binomials. So, y squared minus 7y plus 10. y squared, the factors are y and y. And we are going to write that as the first term of the binomial. Next, 10 is equal to negative 2 times negative 5, this will be written as the last term of the binomial. Therefore, y squared minus 7y plus 10 is equal to the quantity y minus 2 times the quantity y minus 5. Or, that can also be the quantity y minus 5 times the quantity y minus 2. So, let us check the factors again using FOIL method. y times y, y squared y times negative 5, negative 5y, negative 2 times y, negative 2y, and negative 2 times negative 5, that's positive 10. So, let's combine. So, the result is y squared minus 7y plus 10. And that is equal to our given quadratic trinomial. So, we have the correct factors. Last example, factor a squared minus 3a minus 18. Okay, let us uh, have the first step. Factor the first term. a squared, that is a times a. Step 2, factor the last term. Our last term is negative 18, such that the sum of the factors is equal to the numerical coefficient of the middle term. So let us try to find the factors of negative 18. Here are they. Negative 1 times 18, negative 2 times 9, negative 3 times 6. Okay? Remember that when you multiply a negative and a positive number, the result is a negative number. You can also have 1 times negative 18, 2 times negative 9, 3 times negative 6. Now let us find the sum and which of these factors of negative 18 will satisfy the rule. Let's check. Okay, so 3 plus negative 6 is equal to negative 3, which is the same as the numerical coefficient of the middle term. So therefore, we are going to use 3 and negative 6 as our factors of negative 18. So step 3, write as a product of two binomial. So for the first terms, a and a. For the last term, 3 and negative 6, so therefore... We have here now the factors of a squared minus 3a minus 18 as the quantity a plus 3 times the quantity a minus 6 or the quantity a minus 6 times the quantity a plus 3. Let us check the factors using our method, the FOIL method. a times a, a squared. a times negative 6, negative 6a. 
3 times a, that's 3a, and 3 times negative 6, that's negative 18. Then, find the sum, a squared minus 3a minus 18. So, the correct factors of a squared minus 3a minus 18 are a plus 3 and a minus 6. Okay, let's go back to our examples of quadratic trinomials. So, what do you think are the factors of these expressions? Okay, I'm going to give you a few minutes in answering the given problems. So let us check your answers. In number one, the answer is the quantity x plus 2 times the quantity x plus 4. Or that can be the quantity x plus 4 times the quantity x plus 2. Number two, y squared plus 4y minus 12. That is equal to the quantity y plus 6 times the quantity y minus 2. Or the quantity y minus 2 times the quantity y plus 6. Number 3, m squared minus 2m minus 24 is equal to the quantity m minus 6 times the quantity m plus 4. Or the quantity m plus 4 times the quantity m minus 6. Thank you for watching and learning with me. Till next videos.